guys, it's Erica Braun! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Sorry. <laughs> We're back, kind of. Uh, how's it going, guys? If you guys are new to my channel, I'm surprised you're still watching. That was probably really annoying. <laughs> um, this is podcast number... Uh, what po I don't even know, guys. It's been a long time. It's been months since I've been on here. Um, it is January 20th, 2018. Uh, I'm in a fantastic mood today. And I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit about everything that has happened since I moved here in Japan. If you're new to the channel, my name is Eric. Uh, I recently moved here to Osaka, Japan. Uh, with the intent of traveling, documenting, doing some YouTube stuff, and just uh, coming back to Japan. I studied abroad here, I fell in love with it and wanted to come back, and I thought it'd be cool to make a little YouTube channel to kind of document my whole experience, um, which uh, upon moving here I realized was a little bit harder than I thought. So it, it's kind of a bummer because obviously for like a year and a half I was building up, like we're gonna move to Japan, maybe about a week or so it'll be down, but then we're gonna get back and I'm gonna document and talk about everything. Uh, it, it became very clear very quickly uh, because I'll just long story short it's been a hell of a ride uh, in a like a bad slash learning way um, it's been really fucking hard and uh, but it's getting better it's now finally getting better which is why I'm here um, to be honest I didn't really want to get on camera and show you guys of course like you guys like Eric you gotta show us the hard times but it was it was stressful for me to think about getting in front of a camera and being like guys I'm not doing so good. And I did a little bit. Like, I'd post on Twitter or Instagram a little bit. I never use Twitter. I got to get better at that. But, like, I'd post, like, a little live video really quick. Like, hey, guys, I'm, like, just having some lunch. Like, what's going on? Tune in a little bit. So you guys may have caught tidbits over the last few months of what's happening. Um, I've also been live streaming um, a lot on Twitch.tv, which we'll talk about more later. Uh, I guess I'll plug that right now. Uh, by the time you're watching this, I may actually be live right now, uh, which is different than the YouTube stuff. We've been doing what's called IRL streaming. It's called in in real life streaming. Basically, just me recording my day, hanging out. I have a camera. It's live. It's this. I'll show you. Look at this little dude. Look at this little. Uh, what's going on here? Ha ha ha! This is my little recording setup. A Galaxy S6 with a fucking disgusting Frankenstein microphone. A little speaker that blasts out uh, sounds. If you guys follow, uh, subscribe and shit and donate, all those things. Um, and the huge monster battery pack and some Velcro for the <laughs> for the pocket Wi-Fi that also goes on there. So this is my little Frankenstein goofy setup. So if you see me, if you go to Japan and you want to find me, it's probably not very hard because it's me walking around like this. Uh, so I've been doing that lately. Again, we'll probably talk about, about that more later. But just plugging it in right now, it is twitch.tv forward slash Eric underscore abroad. Please mind that underscore. Um, and we may actually be live at this very moment that you're listening. So maybe pause this, go check it out, see if I'm live, give a follow, whatever you guys got to do. Uh, but again, we'll talk more about that later. We have a lot to cover. Um, so I kind of made some notes here of kind of recapping everything that's happened to me, like the big events that's happened over the last five months. And um, yeah, two, two days ago, basically to the day, it's been exactly five months since I moved here. So um, luckily, now that it's 2018, um, things are looking better, like I said. I'm going to do just a quick uh, too long didn't read recap for those who may not want to listen for like an hour or the next few podcasts if you just kind of want to get an update of what's going on. But first, I of course want to just say, um, of course, apologies slash my, my thank you for you guys' patience on me arriving here. I know a lot of people um, who have been really supportive in viewership comments and some people that are even on things like Patreon. Ooh, I got to pull that up. Patreon. I started the Patreon, of course, like anyone, just as a way to kind of help support the channel, as a way to help, you know, just uh, if anyone wants to support, you know, this is a way to do it. Kind of give me just some tip, you know, some actual tips, I guess, and uh, uh, to help, you know, fun things like that. Um, so, but of course, when I started it, I had the, the intent of YouTube in mind. So since moving here, I haven't really been doing much YouTube. And of course, I'm trying to post when I can and give you guys big give back in some way. Uh, but I, I, you know, of course I feel bad and you know, people have still been donating despite me being AFK. So of course I just want to say thank you for the support. It really has helped me. It comes in every month, just, you know, a, a few hundred dollars here and there. Just, it really, really helps me out. Um, and just reminds me that I know you guys are just like, Eric, just take your time and come back. So just know that it means the world. Um, over the next few months, we might be kind of changing how this works as I've been doing YouTube and Twitch lately, some IRL streaming, it's been a little different and Twitch doesn't seem as friendly with patreon stuff it's a little bit more like donations and things you know it's a it's just a whole other ball game and uh trying to incorporate patreon into twitch has been difficult but it's easier with youtube so 
Uh, if we are getting back into YouTube over the next few months, hopefully, uh, I want to kind of revamp and figure out like what we're doing with that. So um, big shout out, of course, first of all, just for the top tiers, because this is what I promised them uh, for those who donate. And I have been so AWOL that um, basically I feel like I'm cheating some people. Uh, so I apologize, but I, I know that I'm very, very appreciative. I'm just going to read those names really quick. And I'm probably going to change how I do this so that I don't have to read the same names every time. I might just put up the list um, or something in the credits. You know, we'll figure it out. But I want to I want to do it proper. But Anthony Yip, uh, Salem. Deacon Marsh, uh, Frags, Oscar Lundberg, Eric Salta, uh, Ethan Roberts, and Jacob Cook. Thank you very much. And of course, thank you to all the other patrons as well. Uh, the top tier are the ones where I just like read the name because I don't know how else to like make them cooler, you know, in whatever way. But um, again, thank you very much. I'm also on Discord. For those who don't know, uh, I'll be posting the Discord link below if you guys are on that. It's basically a chat room service that you guys can join on your computer or your phone. And uh, you can actually just talk to me. Like I'll be sitting in there. Uh, if you guys want to come in and say hi, you can send me a direct message. I always reply, at least right now, since my channel's so small. It's not very hard for me to just respond. So if you want to do that, uh, come say hi. Uh, is that all the plugs? Is that everything? I think I think we can get started here. So the recap, guys, the too long didn't read recap of uh, what Eric Abroad has been up to the last five months. Holy shit. Um, again. Uh, as much as I wanted to get in front of a, uh, a camera every week and kind of be like, all right, guys, this is what's going on. Not exactly what I had in mind, hmm, but let's work through it. The more I thought about doing it, it just kind of stressed me out and also bummed me out knowing like I'd have to get in front of the camera and be all depressed. Uh, you know, I know some people might have wanted that to get like the real experience. And I'm not lying. I'm not going to lie and pretend like like hide and then be like, all right, Japan's great now. But like I won't lie and say that like it was shitty really shitty for me uh i had some really low points uh which we're gonna talk about uh this may take like, like i said a few podcasts to cover everything i'd like to cover we'll probably talk about the twitch channel in a whole nother podcast i don't even want to really dive into that right now um but again tune in because i think i'm live i'll be live today if you're watching this today i'm actually live tonight um we have some plans for that it's been really fun the too long didn't read version of what has happened uh basically eric abroad landed in Japan on August 18th of 2017. Um, I landed on a, what day was that? I'm not even going to check. I think it was a Thursday of Wednesday. I think it was a Thursday. And, <clears throat> uh, you know, me assuming this was kind of a normal, like uh, any, probably any normal job, they'd probably be like, all right, Eric, like get in Japan, maybe take a couple days to rest. And then, you know, let us know when you're ready and you can come in and we can start doing like, you know, training and stuff like that. Um, uh, oh yeah, this is too long, didn't read. I gotta make it faster. Too long, didn't read. I, I arrived in Japan. Uh, my job started immediately. I thought maybe, uh, oh, you know, I'll, I'll do it for only a year. So even if it sucks, I can endure it. Uh, within a week, I was having anxiety attacks because I really, really, really hated it. Um, it was an English class with kids, uh, but it was not at all what I had in mind. The hours were not at all really what I expected. It sucked. Um, I, additionally, I moved into an apartment that I thought I had to move into. I, uh with my Japanese I thought I had to move uh into an area that was the most expensive and I kind of figured oh this might be normal in Osaka because the prices and I found out very quickly that it was triple of what I should be paying um and I was locked into it for a year was forced to cancel a one-year contract which cost me a lot of money thousands of dollars actually and um we're gonna dive into that yeah um so yeah shit job expensive apartment uh, was really down, really depressed. And uh, I actually, just because I wanted to say hi to you guys, I went live on YouTube, but through a cell phone. I just had my cell phone because you can do that through YouTube, just go like live. Um, and a lot of you guys, you guys may even be here, uh, popped in and were just saying, hey, Eric, how's it going? Like, is Japan awesome? Is it awesome as you think it was? And I was like, guys, I hate to tell you, I'm pretty bummed out. And you guys were super supportive and things like that. And that's kind of what led me to live streaming. Um, which I want to talk about a little bit in just saying that I, uh, I'll be honest, the last five months, having that to look forward to, just a way to like connect with some people, even if it's not all of my YouTube fans, but some of the fans I've, I've, I've gained on Twitch recently, um, still a very small channel because I work too much. Um, I, I, need to, I need to wrap this up. Too long, didn't read. But basically, um, it really has helped me get through these last five months, and I really mean that. Um, I was, to be honest, considering moving home, I was so depressed. So we're going to dive into that and discuss why and why I'm still here and why I'm happier now. Um, so thank you guys. Uh, the too long didn't read. Crap job. Shitty apartment. Started live streaming. It made me feel a little bit better. Uh, I found a new house, which as you see, this is my new house. Check this out, guys. I don't think it'll focus, but wow. 
Isn't it beautiful? I w <laughs> you can see the Kirby. We actually won this Kirby on live stream uh, on a crane game. That was a pretty fun stream. Uh, yeah, I got the Switch. Yeah, you can just see. I got, I got my game. It's my game setup, dude. It's my game setup. Uh, you guys might know I'm not a huge, like, although I'm into Japan, I'm not like a huge manga anime guy, but I love video games. And collecting video games in Japan is my nerdy, like, pastime. And it's, uh, I, I try, most of this stuff I bought when I was studying abroad. So it's not like I'm, I'm not like, because you guys, I'll, we're going to talk about how I'm kind of broke right now, but I'm, I'm getting by. But don't be like, Eric, don't just, don't spend all your money on fucking games. All right, I bought a Switch. That was my Christmas gift. I bought a Switch, but for myself. Um, most of these games I bought when I was studying abroad. So I already had these, but uh, oh, I love it. I'm so happy I'm here. My room, my new room is smaller for sure than uh, my uh, other place. But man, I keep long winding this. Uh, but it's a share house now. Uh, I decided to, to kind of change my priorities, move into a share house to save a lot of money. And the person who was supposed to move in here canceled. And the owner is out of town until March. So I live in a Japanese home. It's like a four, four, how many floors? One, two, there's four floors. How many stories is that? Three? That's not four stories, is it? I don't know. There's four floors and a balcony. It's a real house in Japan by myself for really cheap. Good job, Eric. Good job, you guys. All right. Uh, and also, the, 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 the cherry on top of all this is, you know, I was telling you guys I hated my job. Uh, I found a new job. And they offered me a job position. Uh, I, you know, I'm scared to like talk about it right now because I haven't signed the paperwork yet. But I'm signing the paperwork on Tuesday of next week. So just in a couple days here, uh, I'm going in. Uh, we're gonna talk about that a little bit. For now, just for the sake of starting a new job and kind of getting my feet still a little bit wet here in Japan and figure out what I'm doing, I'm going to leave the name of the company that I'm applying for uh, out of my channel. Uh, for now, I'm, I'm sure if people really wanted to dig, they can maybe find me. But, you know, just for the sake of, uh, how do you say, exclusivity? How do you say, like, personal information? I just don't really want that out right now. Maybe in the future I can talk about it. Um, but it is a kind of a smaller company. It's not like I'm saying, oh, I'm working through Jet and they put me into some school. It's kind of a very specific place. Uh, so for now, I just please, I hope you guys uh, understand that I don't want to say the exact name. But compared to my current job, job, um, those were air quotes for those listening on SoundCloud. Um, it's basically better in every way. The only concern is that I actually have to work harder, which is uh, <laughs> not a bad thing. You know, I actually have to work hard. I got the soundboard back. Uh, <laughs> there's actually, I, I think I added some sounds from uh, just really quick from from the from the Twitch stream. So here here's one. Whenever someone follows me, which is like a subscribe YouTube, they call it subscribing. On Twitch, following is a subscription. But then on Twitch, a subscription is like a donation. It's like a, it's like a month. It's like a Patreon pledge, basically. Like you pledge five bucks a month, and it gets you access to like extra emotes and stuff like that. Anyways, so when people follow, like subscribe. Oh, Eric. <laughs> that is a line from Jake Drake and Josh, the 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 wonderful TV show Drake and Josh, uh, Nick and Lodi on uh, Nickelodeon. Rest in peace. Oh, Eric. I listen one more time. Oh, Eric. I love that. I love that. That's um. Eric and Craig, right? I think that I don't even know. Um, and then whenever people subscribe on Twitch, which is the like the the, the subscription, it uh, does like a big log sound effect, and then it says "chew hype." For those who didn't hear that, it says "chew hype." Uh, chew high is a drink here in Japan. What even is chew high? It's like it's like so it's like soda water with like vodka or something. I'm not really sure. It's alcohol. It's an alcoholic like soda drink. Um, when I was studying abroad, we used to call them chew hypes because they're kind of weird. They're like this bubbly drink. So when you're, dr you're like drinking, but you're not getting like a drunk, like a beer buzz. So you kind of just like, it's kind of a, like, a, it's like a fuzzy feeling. It's weird. So we just like, yo, chew hype. It's fucking stupid, but chew hype. Chew hype to all of you guys. Um, I'm sipping some tea right now as to not lose my voice between, I'll say this. I know I'm going off on a lot of tangents here. Again, this is going to take probably a lot of podcasts for me to dive into each kind of category. Let's list them again. I think there's five crappy job, expensive apartment, beginning live streaming, finding a new house, and finding a new job, 2018. Ha oh, ha, I'm so excited for 2018. Um, and I wanna talk about all those things. So we're gonna just gonna start from the beginning. Um, I'll probably, as much as I wanna talk about this all day, uh, I'm gonna be live streaming today. So I'm probably just gonna do about roughly an hour or so on here. I also don't wanna like tire you guys out with a video that's like three hours long. So I'll probably do an hour and then just get to a pausing point and then I can pick up next week when I do it again. I'd like to get back into doing the podcasts uh, next week. But again, the, the long story short with the new job is I quit my current job in two weeks. Oh, you don't know <laughs> how good it feels to say that. Um, 
it's been really bad. And uh, and I start my new job in roughly a month. I start the training for that. Uh, there's some training, and then I have a paid vacation prior to the job actually beginning. They're actually gonna. Uh, I, I was gonna say fly me out. They're gonna. I'm just gonna go to Tokyo, and they're gonna pay for it. They're gonna fly me out to Tokyo for a couple of days for some uh, orientation with like the whole company. They all meet together, and then following that, I uh, begin the new job. So I'm really excited. Um, of course, there's probably ups and downs with any job, but basically compared to my current job, almost everything is at least a step up. Uh, better hours, better pay, better schedule. Uh, a real company. Uh, there's an HR department. I can actually complain about things. I can actually, you know, raise concerns. I can, you know, they they actually watch what I do and critique me and say like, hey, you should maybe change this. And they try to improve me uh, rather than just stick me in a room with a bunch of kids and say good luck. So um, as you can tell, I'm a little bitter toward my current job. So I apologize. And for anyone who's maybe like a Twitch viewer or uh, has been already, you know, listening to my, you know, kind of rants from before. If I'm kind of a broken record here, you know, I don't really know what you guys do and wow, I don't know what you guys know and don't know. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of start from the beginning and just say it all. So if you already know my like my sob story, you know, you might be tired of it and you don't have to listen to the whole thing. But for those that don't, or maybe for those who want to hear it, if you're considering moving to Japan, um, you could probably take this experience. I hope it's, I hope it's like, you know. I don't know if my podcast helps anyone who wants to come to Japan, but if anyone is like considering it and maybe this can be kind of informational or like educational on like some things to some red flags to avoid uh, me, I'm the kind of person and I'm looking back and realizing like, how did I get in this, this, this kind of situation? I thought this mess, like I thought that like I prepared so much. I tried so hard to make sure like these things wouldn't happen that I would for sure, you know, make it work. Um, I'm also the kind of guy, though, who likes to just dive headfirst into things. I don't like to think about them too much, uh, which is kind of a blessing and a curse. It's fun because it, it allowed me to come to Japan. I'm like, fuck it, I'll go to Japan. Let's go. And I loved it. Um, and then it also made me decide that I want to go back to Japan. Uh, and, you know, as far as legal documentation and stuff, I, of course, did everything I, you know, to make sure I get like my, my, my working visa and my, my passport all figured out and like, all that stuff. Um, I did all that. But as far as like, all right, where am I going to move? Uh, you know, all these things, all these things, all these things. As much as I tried to prepare in the States, uh, I basically showed up with no place to live, uh, no cell phone, no internet. Uh, and my job was demanding me to be there every day. And it was a job I, within a week, realized I hated already. Uh, so I've been playing the long waiting game for five months. Uh, in addition, I'm just going to throw this out right now. Uh, between uh, working, doing the live streaming, and I guess now doing like this podcast and just talking in general, I have a pretty like booming voice, I guess. Like it's a high pitched voice, but I like to talk very loud. And as a consequence, my voice recently I've noticed has been like going away quick. Uh, I've never had to use my voice this much all the time uh, in my life. So I'm, I have to kind of actually adjust like new habits. One of those is drinking honey tea with ginger, <laughs> honey tea with ginger, uh, hot. So I, I apologize if I have to take a little sip breaks here. One second here. I really have to like adult up a little bit and figure out like, man, like how do, how do I like maybe like change, not change the way I talk, but just kind of like avoid like, Oh, my voice is starting to hurt. Let's like, let's tone it down a little bit. So if, if I, if I start getting closer in the podcast later like this, uh, I apologize ahead of time. Cause I'm, I'm starting to realize like, man, I lose my voice a lot and I never really realized it. Um, uh, mostly just, again, when I'm doing the live streaming, I'm basically talking the whole time and sometimes having drinks like beers and stuff like that, which doesn't help. So, uh, disclaimer on that, but it's, it is, this is great. It's good to see you guys, uh, in, in how do I, you know what I mean? Like it's good. It's good to, to pop in really quick. Um, I, you know, a lot of people ask, like they, they obviously asked me over the last few months, like, so when are you going to get back into YouTube? When are you going to do like a podcast? When are you going to make a video? Uh, I guess I'll just tell you that I have like at least two or three videos that are like queued up, ready to edit. I just like, I have all the footage basically pl placed there. Uh, it's ready to go. I want to do one of my, I did like an MTV crib. I'm just going to spoil it. I did an MTV cribs kind of style of my old apartment. Cause it was kind of like too expensive for me. So I was just like, yeah, I live in this luxurious apartment, but I can't afford it, so I'm moving. You know, it, it, I try to make it kind of funny and humorous. And now that I'm living in this new house, of course, I want to give you guys a tour of this as well, show you guys what it's like to live in a Japanese home in due time. Just give me a minute here. Um, basically, my job, <clears throat> although it's like a Monday through Friday like job, originally it was a Monday through Saturday job. And um, I guess, okay, I want, to, I want to go through this all, like, again, very slowly. So, I, But I'll just say really quick for the job thing. Um, one of the biggest re reasons I hate it is it's not that it's difficult. It's almost the opposite. It's that it's too easy. Um, the boss basically doesn't care 
if we do a good job or bad job, as long as we get students, he's just like, okay, like, you know, try to teach him English. So it's kind of, it's kind of shitty for me. Cause I came here wanting to like learn how not like, I don't want to teach English forever, but if I'm going to do it for a few years, you know, my first couple years here in Japan, kind of figuring out what I'm doing with my like long-term plan, I don't know yet, but I got to teach English for a few years. So I want to learn a little bit. I'm going to use this first year to kind of like learn how to, how to work with kids and, um, adults as well, because it's kind of a mix, uh, and just learn like what it's like to, you know, how to teach English. I don't know how to do it. You know, I can speak it, but I don't know how to teach it. So these first five months, unfortunately, have been kind of, I wouldn't say a waste, but kind of a learning experience in that, like, you know, I didn't really learn that much. We kind of had textbooks and we would just read from the textbooks and like, yeah, there's some games, but like anyone can think of a game. Anyone can go online and find a game, I guess. I mean, I guess, I don't know. So I, I learned some things in the way of like interacting with kids and stuff uh, and how to like calm them down. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm excited with this new job because they actually have training. Uh, which, so basically, like if I had to recap, it's like basically probably by the time I start my new job, it's like the first six months of being in Japan was almost like a waste. Like I could, I could just forget it and like throw it away. Like I, I fucked up with my apartment, so I had to move. I fucked up with my job. I had to get a new job. I started live streaming, but I couldn't do it every day. So like we were slowly getting it going. And then at the six month mark, we're now finally like, okay, I think we're at a pretty good point. So it's like, if we just throw away these first six months and now start like, all right, we're in Japan. Well, in a couple weeks when I start my new job, it's like, now we're in Japan. Okay. Then I'll be good. It's kind of that moment. I think will be what I had in mind. What I thought would be my moment six months ago. I thought that I would arrive. Uh, all right, here's your phone, Eric. All right. We're going to help you get a bank account all right, you're starting the job. We're going to get you going. Oh, and like, you have a lot of free time. You're going to study Japanese, you know, all this stuff. It's like, all that was like ripped away from me. So it was like, I wasn't really able, I'll be honest. My, my, my Japanese has not improved. Uh, my speaking is probably still roughly the same, but my reading and writing is very poor. And just that, like, not that like I forgot it all, but just like, I need a few weeks to just like get back in the groove to like refresh. Cause there's moments where I look at like some kanji, some Japanese kanji that I used to know. And I'm like, I used to know that and I don't know what it means now. What does it mean? And it, it sucks. It's a terrible feeling. Uh, some people would just say, you know, why don't you use that time you use live streaming and just study Japanese? Well, the live streaming has been a great way for me to like blow steam outside of to separate work, to not have to, even right now, I'm like not thinking, I know we're talking about it, but I'm not like thinking about work. Uh, and the reason that like, you're like, well, it's just a full-time job, Eric. Like, have you never had a full-time job before? The, the thing is, is that it's um, the schedule works into the late evening. Uh, most of my days I start from 2 p.m. in the afternoon until 10 p.m., which maybe it was just me being optimistic, like having just wearing like the glasses of like, I'm going to Japan, it's gonna be great. Oh, two, all right, get off at 10 p.m. That means I can sleep in in the morning, I'll wake up early, I'll get some exercise, study Japanese, maybe, put, maybe do a podcast and then I can go to work, that's great. The reality is that I wake up, uh, take a shower, have breakfast, have about 20 minutes and then I have to get on the train because it takes a while to get there. Um, and then I go to work all day, then I get off work, and then I have to head home before the last train. Uh, and getting off at 10 o'clock at night, uh, everyone in Japan, they don't drive, they all take the train, most people, at least people my age. So uh, everyone goes home around 11 o'clock, 11.30. So people are like, hey, Eric, it's a Tuesday. You wanna go get drinks or go get some dinner? Oh, dude, I'd love to meet you, but I have to work until 10 o'clock. Can you meet after that? They're like, yeah, like I have to go home. So basically my Monday through Friday is nothing. And it kills me. It kills me. Um, so we're going to talk about that more. But yeah, so like streaming has been a great way for me to like, okay, it's the weekend. Let's stream for a couple days, not think about it. We can go get food, do what we want to do, go do some shopping, get some drinks, just get a little goofy, whatever. Um, and it's just a way for me to kind of forget because I, I, I like this kind of quote I've kind of made for myself. A lot of people have been uh, asking me like, so Eric, like maybe if they haven't talked to me in a while since I moved here, dude, Eric, how's Japan, dude? Like, how you doing? I go... Oh, outside of work, Japan's fucking awesome. <laughs> outside of work, Japan is great. I love it. I'm having a great time. Uh, you know, I'm all moved in. I've, I, I've re-caught up with a lot of friends. I made some new friends. Um, and, you know, things are going really well. But the second I step back into work, it all sinks back in like, fuck. Um, so, again, two more weeks, guys, and I'm really excited about that. Um, I was supposed to quit in a month, and I changed it to two weeks because um, I'm done. Uh, that being said, switching between jobs, I am going to be kind of tight on cash for the next few months, but luckily I already moved into a really cheap, uh, housing situation. My being a share house, it's, it's so cheap. I don't even know if I'll say the number today, but we'll talk about it in details. Uh, you know, I'll give you guys all the, cause I'm not like, I don't want to hide anything. I just don't like, let's save that for another topic. Um, it's really 
really cheap. And I, before you ask, I found it on Craigslist. I posted on Craigslist my situation, not like a sob story, but I posted a picture of me like smiling, just like, hey, saying like, hi, I'm Eric. Uh, I'm living in a, an apartment that's a little too expensive. I'd like to move somewhere that's like a share house. Uh, or if you guys need a roommate, please let me know. And someone contacted me. It was actually the first person that contacted me. I saw like three houses and I saw them all and I was like, yeah, the first one was the best. Uh, it's a little bit longer of a commute. I'm more of in like a Japanese neighborhood now rather than in like the city. Um, but I have access to everything. I'm close to the train. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's, I would say it's like a downgrade, but I also have a house. It's kind of cool. I have my own little like setup down here and um, it's so cheap. And that's all that matters. I have a bed, a shower, a kitchen. It's all you need, right? Some heating. It's great. A little sip of tea here. So um, I'm just, I'm, I'm really uh, happy that things are on the up and up. And now we're going to dive into it. Where, where, where do we start? Crap job. All right. Number one, crap job. Let me get a sip of tea here. We'll get started. I'm like out of breath. Eric, relax. <clears throat> I'll be honest. If my voice starts to really hurt, I might, uh, you know, I'll tone down the voice, obviously, and just get like closer like this. But uh, I don't want to strain the voice as we need it for work and for uh, live streaming and stuff like that. So I'm going to, uh, we'll see, we'll see how long I last here. Um, I'm finally over a cold. I still got like a runny nose, but I had a really bad, uh, I had some bad strep throat, probably just from uh, doing the live stream, but I actually, oh, that's another podcast. We need to talk about, um, healthcare in Japan compared to healthcare in America. Jesus Christ. Um, it's really cheap. <laughs> Long story short, it's very cheap. I went and saw a doctor and got uh, like three different medicines uh, for under like $30. And in America, it would have costed me basically 100 So that was, um, well, in the, the monthly just payment on health insurance here right now is a lot cheaper. It'll get more expensive, but it still won't even be near America. So as an American, yay to Japanese healthcare. Okay, so far at least. Um, number one, crap job. We're just gonna, th this whole podcast today might just be on that. I had like, again, those five points, uh, that I want to discuss that might, that might take the next month or so here, uh, to really dive into. Um, so I hope that's cool. If you guys want to tune in and listen to what, uh, my shitty job was like, let's start from the beginning. All right. I need to kind of go back into like five months ago, Eric mindset here. So, um, let me think I've been waiting for months. <clears throat> I had graduated from college. Uh, got my bachelor's degree. I submitted for a work visa in Japan. You need to have a bachelor's degree, a four-year degree to work in Japan as a foreigner, um, at least as an American. I don't know if it's different with other ethnic, like other countries, not ethnicities, you know what I mean, other countries. Um, but um, as an American, I think, I think for everyone it is, but for me, it's a four-year degree. So I got my four-year degree. Um, I had already found a job and we'd only really contacted through uh, email. I had met him once briefly, uh, in March over spring break because I wanted to meet in person. And of course with one meeting, everything seems great. I'm like, I'm back in Japan and he goes, Oh yeah, this is our place. And I'm like, Oh, this looks cool. Great. All right, let's sign up. And I found, I filed paperwork that, that very first day. So as I'll say this prior to all this, like complaining, um, I don't think my boss is a bad person. Um, I don't think my boss meant to make my life kind of my own personal hell. Um, I'll just say that as a disclaimer. I really don't think he had any ill will. I think it was just the circumstances. Um, again, I'm going to do a lot of long story shorts. Long story short is that um, the company is kind of this, at least the English side, uh, is like a startup program. So like, I mean no offense in this, but they don't know what they're doing. As in like, they just started and they're like, okay, let's figure this out. Oh, did this work? No, this didn't work. Okay, let's try this. Oh, like, so it's not like I, I, I like sign up and they're like, all right, this is how we do our English program. You're going to do this. And then like, you know, this week we're going to study on this grammar. You know, it's literally just like, we have a room. We got some kids that are interested in studying English. Can you be in the room and like talk to them in English? And there's no, there's no motivation. There's no direction. There's no, and they don't check up. They don't go like, oh, Hey Eric, like we, we watched like, uh, you know, your lesson the other day and we thought you did pretty good, but like you should change this. None of that. It's literally just like, a, like may like some days I don't even see my boss. Some days I show up and he like doesn't even show up. Uh, and it's just, I just, it's really demotivating. So that's a long story short on why I just like, you're like, it sounds kind of like a chill job. It's not, the pay is also very, very low. Uh, so it's, it's like this ball and chain basically. Like I want to explore Japan. Of course, I'm not trying to be too like unrealistic. Of course, if you're moving to another country to like, to live there, you have to work. And I know that. Uh, but like my mindset is kind of like, okay, while working, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to recap, 
catch up with old friends. I'm going to go to restaurants. I'm going to explore. I'm going to do YouTube. Now Twitch stuff. I'm like super excited. I'm going to do all these things. I'm going to learn how to cook better. I'm going to get in better shape. And I've kind of done none of those things because work has just been like kind of, it takes over my whole week. And on the weekend, all I want to do is sleep and kind of like blow steam. So uh, I, I almost feel like the stereotypical stereotypical salary man in Japan who works to the bone and hates his job, but he just drinks when he gets on the train to, uh, to cope with it. I kind of feel like that. <clears throat> There's my throat. And, <clears throat> and my first, my first, uh, few weeks, maybe even a couple months in Japan were definitely like that. I'm going to admit, um, I'm, you got, I mean, if you guys watch my channel, I know you might not know me personally, but I don't think I come across as a very like depressing person. I am a very, like, I'm very, sedi mm, how do you say Like, I'm like, it's weird. Cause I like, like in reality, I'm kind of, I'm actually a pretty like, not sadistic. What's the word? Like not jaded either. Like I'm a very, what, what's the word for that? Like, um, my, I, I would, I would like to argue that my head's not really in the clouds, but at the same time, I'm a very optimistic person. I'm a very like upbeat person. You can tell I've got a lot of energy sometimes. Um, I like to be kind of the, the class clown. You know, I like I like everyone to have a good time. I like everyone laugh, you know, I'm kind of that guy. So for me to come to Japan, with all this excitement and to have it all kind of stripped away and also to be like uh locked into a really expensive apartment with a job that doesn't pay that well but it also takes up all of my free time it felt like a prison you know what i mean it's like you have to go here but with the money you earn you can't really do that much and you can only go out on weekends and at first it was monday through saturday think about that i only had one day off i remember i remember it was so weird i know i haven't even dove into the subject yet and we're just like i'm just like you know tiptoeing around this but I remember specifically like three weeks in and I was, you know, I had to go in on a Saturday and it was like, they're only half days. So I was like, Oh, it's just half days. You know, this is me prior to going like, well, I have to go in on Saturdays too, but they're only half days. So I can go in, do the half day and then go do whatever I want afterwards. But you still have to wake up early. You still have to dress up. You still got to shower. It take it ends up taking up six, seven hours of your day anyways, um, commuting and stuff like that. So it's not a half day. It's basically another full day. Um, and I just remember it was like on a Saturday and my, not my boss, but it was another teacher that works there. And he, he's a guy that I now kind of don't really like, I'll admit. Uh, but he, I think he could tell that I was kind of having a hard time, but he probably just assumed just cause I just got here. I'm kind of just stressed out and stuff. And he was just like, Oh, like you have tomorrow off. Right. And I'm like, well, yeah, it's Sunday. And he's like, Oh, that's nice. You get a vacation. Nice. And I was like, it's a Sunday. It's not a fuck. That's not a vacation what the fact like he used those words of course in japanese but he's like oh like nice like you get a break like mm, and then you'll be good for monday right because he could tell i was tired and i'm like are you fucking kidding like the fact that he just said that like <clears throat> again it might be like a, again a lot of this might be like ignorant eric with just cultural differences and things like that and a lot you know it's a stereotype that people in japan do uh the, the work environment is a little toxic sometimes but you know working in this like english school i thought like you know we're working with kids it's super relaxed it's not a lot of work to do. So we kind of just hang out. Like it'll be chill. That was kind of my mindset. And it ended up just being like, uh, ah, oh, man. So, um, very quickly, I'll just say this within like the first two months, I was so stressed out that I talked to my boss and said, like, honestly, I can't work six days a week. I'm dying. Like I need some kind of a break, some kind of a weekend. And I think he got, I'll say this. I'm the only, like, I'm the only native English speaker there. So there's other teachers there, but they're from other countries that speak English, but they're not native. Um, they speak very well. Um, but because I'm the white American who speaks fluent English, um, American English, it's very sought after in Japan for teachers. So that's like my only real asset is I'm not a teacher. I'm not certified in any way. It's just that I kind of like lucked out in all of those, you know, like categories and just that like you speak native English and you're also American. Uh, that's what, that's the English that Japanese people want to learn. Um, that's the, the parents want their kids to go to a school that has an American that's teaching because they think it's the real English. So um, I lucked out in that regard. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, because of that, I think that putting my face on all of their little flyers that they hand out and stuff like that, which is, oh my God, I got to talk about flyers. Fuck. Give me a sec. <laughs> Oh, they made me, <clears throat> they made me hand out flyers for like my first three weeks in the cold. Oh, I wanted to, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm having like, you guys are like witnessing Erica Broad, like PTSD moments, like live, like, oh, just give me, give me, give me a sec to like ball my eyes out. <laughs> oh my God. Um, 
yeah, so what my point is is that I think that me being there for them, especially as like a new school, it was kind of like a plus for them. Like, oh, we finally have a native speaker. And I kind of knew this, but um, I, I didn't really realize to the effect that like they really wanted me to be there because when I was like, because everyone else works Saturdays. So I'm like, hey, like, you know, I know I already don't make a lot of money, but honestly, at this point, I'm willing to like cut my pay a few hundred dollars a month just if I can please have those Saturday half days off because I can't, there's no break. I'm just always working. Like I'm always here. This is literally a prison. It was literally a prison at that point. Now I have weekends off, you know, the spoiler, I got the weekends off, but it, it, it still is my prison. But at that time it really was a prison. Like that was all like all Sunday was like, Oh, you get a break. No, I don't get a break. Sunday is my one day that I can go shopping that I can cook and get ready for the next week. It was just like prep for the next like hell of a week. You know what I mean? So when he's like, Oh, you get a Sunday off vacation. I literally, it was like, where, where's my sound effect? Like, no, wrong one. Just like, fuck, I need to get out of this now. So <laughs> it was like a realization moment for me when I heard that. Um, but yeah, so I told my boss, I'm like, I don't know if you have to cut pay because it's not fair to the other teachers. I don't want to work and get the same pay if they have to keep working Saturdays. And he says like, oh no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Like, um, if you're, if you're, you know, tired from working Saturdays, you can just have them off. It's okay. And he like passed me on the shoulder and I'm like, it was then that I realized, okay, they're scared of me leaving. I think they really want me to be here. And I, and I'm not like bragging. I'm not trying to be like, yeah, like <laughs> they need me. Cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to pretend like I'm a big English teacher. I'm not. But it was then that I realized like, oh, they actually don't want me to go anywhere. And they're willing to like compromise with me. Not like I took advantage of that. There's no, like this isn't leading to a story where it's like, then I took this off and this off. I, I didn't, that was basically all I did. But it was this, it's, even right then it was weird. I, I, I then had to, I haven't even dove into like the beginning of this thing. I'm, I'm Again, I'm all over the place right now. I apologize. But it was then weird having to go to work every day on a Monday and be like, how was your, they'd be like, hey, Eric, how was your weekend? And I'm like, fuck, I didn't ask for this. And like, I told them like, Hey guys, like, I think you guys know, but I talked to my teacher or, you know, the boss. And, um, uh, I think he's giving me Saturdays off just cause I've been really stressed. And I asked him if he can like cut my pay. Um, I don't know if he talked to you guys and they're like, no, it's okay. Like we've worked here longer. Like we, we, we like it here. So like you're stressed out. It's all good. They were really nice about it, but still there's like that tension, right? Like I feel bad. Like w this isn't fair. Just cause I'm just cause I'm American, like I get like you know the red carpet. That's not cool. So it was, of course, I'm like it. And it's funny that same teacher that I mentioned that was like, oh, you get a vacation, nice Sunday off. Ooh, that's got to be nice. He gets them too, but he was trying to like encourage me or whatever. After that, he's like, oh, Eric, you get Saturdays and Sundays off. He was like baffled, and I'm like. Honestly, I didn't try to play it. You know, I could have played the whole Japanese like, oh, yes, I'm very grateful. Thank you. Oh, Saturdays and Sundays. You're, you're so kind. Thank you. No, it was this is not my boss. It's another teacher, but they kind of work alongside each other. But he he yeah, he's like, oh, I heard you get Saturdays and Sundays off. Like, wow, that's that's got to be amazing. And I'm like, honestly, I did this and I, I, I kind of felt like a jerk, but I had to remind myself like reality check, I guess just as an American, like weekends are normal. Having a Saturday and a Sunday off is very necessary mentally and just in life to like just kind of re it's it, you you deserve any you deserve a weekend i don't care who you are i don't care what job you do i don't care like you deserve some time off even if it's like a day here and a day there you need days off like come on so when he was saying that i could have done the whole polite bow thing and go yes i'm very 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 grateful i kind of played the opposite and i was just like yeah it's you know it's a weekend and I think there he was kind of like, ooh, like I, I kind of shut him down almost. Like he was just like, oh, like that's got to, he was trying to like almost make me like feel guilty or something or like you should appreciate what you have having that Saturday off. And I'm like, well, it's, I think I, you know, I made it normal. Like it's good. So again, with this company kind of being new as well, I'm, I'm kind of curious now that I'm leaving um, if like, if they hire someone in the future, if they're going to change some things because they obviously know, like I hate a lot of this stuff, but with when when talking to my boss about quitting it's not like i really listed everything like he was like well why are you quitting i didn't go like well because of the hours and then the weekends and then you made me feel weird and like you know all the all these things like it was more just like i'm quitting in two weeks for personal reasons and i apologize but this job isn't for me you know i kept it professional but i also talked to uh specifically one of the other teachers uh him and i are friends and i was able to kind of talk to him and just be like dude like I know you enjoy working here, but I gotta be honest, I fucking hate it. And, but he was very like understanding. He's like, you know, like, it's okay. It's not for everyone, like whatever. And so I really appreciate that. Um, um, and I, I hope that if he continues that 
he can use that info to talk to the boss about like, all right, we're hiring another n native speaker. Cause I feel bad for the next chump who has to work here. They were already talking. They're like, yeah, we're like posting on like job listings to try to find another like part-timer, maybe a full-timer to work full-time. I'm like, fuck, dude, I gotta, I gotta warn this guy. This place sucks. <laughs> and I mean, I mean, maybe, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I really, and even I actually heard stories. There was another person who had worked there who moved back to their home country because they were depressed from the job. Uh, I can see why. And um, I, I, I really just think that the people that are working there right now might just be a little bit more desperate for a job in Japan than I am. They don't necessarily speak fluent English. And I, I'm not fluent, but I can speak enough to find a job. I, I can speak enough to find a house. I found a house, you know. Uh, I can speak enough to get around. Um, so I'm not fluent by any means, but I can speak enough to get my idea across. And that's very helpful, obviously, living here now. Um, and I'm very grateful or, well, I earned it because I did it, but you know what I mean? I'm thankful to myself that I like I prepared uh, a little bit. And um, things like signing up for bank accounts and phone bills and internet plans, that's another story. And we are going to dive into that again. This might take up to two months because <laughs> I'm all over the place. There's so many little things that have happened in the last five months. And now like digging them back up, it's like, oh yeah, that happened, that happened, that happened. So I apologize. But um Yes, that was kind of the gist. And now I'm quitting and I'm so happy uh, because it's been hard to express. And it's been hard, especially through YouTube. Um, since I'm not making videos, it's hard to just be like, hey, guys, I'm hanging in there, but I'm not doing so hot. You know, things are kind of looking positive, but whatever. You know, <clears throat> I'll just admit to you guys, uh, it's embarrassing, but, uh, you know, it's part of the, If you guys want like the real part of Japan, my first, I think it was my second or third week. Um, it was the last thing I, I, to be honest. So I was so bummed out, but I was also so like, trying to be realistic like okay Eric, you just got here you're probably even still jet lagged like you gotta relax just get a get a get a glass of wine i don't know it sounds like a chick movie you know what i mean like get get a get a get a whiskey get a get a drink a beer just chill out for a bit maybe give it like a month or two and things might fizzle out you might get used to it um things might get easier the job might change a little bit uh opening they were opening a new branch at the time when i started so i thought oh this is a good opportunity i can like if there's something I don't like, I can tell them and they're like, okay, let's do that. And then I can like adjust it to my own need, means. Yeah. Very opposite. Uh, they, I kind of got, it got worse. Um, but my, you know, my parents, of course, my mom, my loving mother and father who are, um, you know, want to give a shout out to fucking, I say fucking to my parents. Sorry. Sorry, mom. Um, to, uh, you know, they, they have supported me so much in all of this. And I know not all parents support their kids going abroad or some moms might even try to like, I, I, I think of a horror story in my head where they try to, uh, sabotage it and try to ruin it so that their kid can't leave and their baby doesn't leave you know i'm, I'm 20 I, I know i look like i'm 13 but i am 25 uh so they're cool with it and they've gone abroad a lot i have a brother who's married to a european so like we're, we're a pretty internationally okay i guess family i guess but of course it's still my mom and dad so they're messaging me like hey buddy we love you like how are you doing is everything as good as you thought and i kind of had to ignore these messages because i'd see them and i'd start like crying just like how am i supposed to what am i supposed to answer the phone and tell my mom that I hate it, you know what I mean? Like, halfway around the world, and she can't help, you know what I mean? Like, to my dad, it's one thing, but, like, to tell your mom that, and she, there's not, I, you know, I'm not a woman, but, like, I, y you know how moms get, right? Like, you know, there, she feels like there's nothing she can do to help her baby kind of thing. Like, I don't want to put her through that. So, I kind of just said, like, it's a, it's been a bit busy. I apologize for no calls. Let me call you in a couple weeks kind of thing. So, I think they were kind of, like, bummed out. They're like, huh, like, that's kind of a bummer. But, man, I, when I, after a couple weeks and things didn't get better, I said, I, I gotta, I gotta talk to him. I, I mean, one, it's my parents, but two, I gotta tell someone. I haven't talked to anyone. I, it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing, you guys, <clears throat> to 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 work so hard and for you know. And you guys are gonna say, oh, it's okay, or don't be embarrassed. Happens to everyone, but like, thank you, I appreciate it. But like, but really, like, it, there was this feeling of just like, I felt like I kind of, I knew what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to Japan head first. I can speak a little Japanese, you know everyone else that normally goes through like jet or something like that. And I, I hate to just, I'm not, I'm really not here to disc I'm now encouraging it. Actually, if you, if you can get in through something like jet or interact that takes care of a lot of this stuff for you, they find housing. That's the point I'm trying to make here is don't do what I did. I was kind of proud in my head. Like I'm going to do this on my own. I'm going to find my own apartment. I'm going to get my own bank. It's going to be great. And I'm going to like, I'm going to learn because of it and get better. And I was kind of proud of it. Not like boasting, but like inside I'm like that. I'm so excited for that. Uh, and then to show up and just get like crapped on like, oh shit, I am in way over my head. It was embarrassing. And um, it was hard to, you know, pop on YouTube and say like, well, I kind of goofed. Uh, it's going to be maybe five or six months until I get out of this mess. And that's the point I'm at now is I'm finally getting out. I'm finally in a new house. The old apartment is completely paid off. I'm done. Again, thousands of dollars. I don't know if I mentioned that. 
I, I signed a one year lease to an expensive apartment and I had to cancel it. And it, it literally cost me thousands of dollars. Um, expensive mistake. And I hope it's an, ex an expensive mistake that none of you guys have to make. And, um, but again, yeah. So I called my parents and this is like, you know, it's embarrassing, but it's a part of it. So I'll tell you guys, but yeah, my parents called and I tried to like, you know, like, all right, <clears throat> let's go talk to my parents. Let's go. Like, hey mom. Hey dad. And they're like, how's it going buddy? And immediately I go, not so good guys. And I start weeping. <laughs> I'm laughing now, but I was weeping in front of my parents and they were so shocked. Cause I, I think I messaged them like, Hey guys, I'll be honest. It's been kind of hard. Do you mind if we talk? So I think they kind of knew that I was in a bad mood, but I don't think they realized the extent to which I was like really not feeling good. And I, it was, it, it, cause it, it hurt me to like show my parents that side of me that I'm not like, cause again, the embarrassment of just like, fuck, I, I told my parents I'm going to, I'm going to kill it. Even though they're worried about me, I'm going to do really well. And to show them like, I'm, uh, you know, it's not what I thought, but also just to make them worry and to make them feel, it was like all these things and this frustration and YouTube, Eric, where are the videos? You know, I'm not blaming you guys. I'm just saying like, I had that personal pressure to put out content and things like that. So all these things, I'm just like, fuck. And yeah, I wept with my parents. Um, luck they, uh, for a while, for a, I think about a week, they're like, Eric, do you have time to talk every day before work? And I was like, yeah, I think I do. Like, we're going to talk every day. So it, whether it was my mom or my dad, whether they were busy, they'd pull up their phone, whatever they were doing. And it, you have no idea how much it helped. So like a shout out to anyone. If you guys have great parents, if you have bad parents, I, I you know, I, I got to say that, I, you know, I can't say that I relate to having bad parents because my parents have been so helpful and so supportive. Like I've had a pretty, I, I'm going off on weird tangents here, but I've had a great upbringing. I've, I've been very lucky in my life and um, having them there was way more helpful than I ever anticipated. I was kind of, you know, when I studied abroad, this sounds really bad, but when I studied abroad, I think I called my parents on Skype twice over the course of a year. Um, and that's, again, that sounds terrible, but I was so busy and having such a blast that I, I would send a, you know, I'd post pictures and things like that, but I was like, mom, dad, I love you guys. But like, I need to, like, I'm having so much fun. Just know I'm having fun. I'll tell you all about it later kind of thing. Um, yeah, I didn't, we didn't Skype much and they were there. They probably were kind of like, yeah, Eric, why aren't you calling us? But like, I was just like, guys, I don't, I'm not even in the mood to call. I got to focus on YouTube. I have all this shit. Like, this is crazy. I'm having a blast. Love you guys. Bye. <clears throat> and then when I moved back here, I'm on my phone. I'm on the phone with them every day. <laughs> it's like, guys, it's going to be another hard day today. Oh, <laughs> maybe it wasn't that bad, but it was pretty bad. Um, so I just want to say like, I guess encouragement. That's not crying. I swear is, I swear that's a runny nose, but, um, uh, uh, I, I don't take for granted your friends and family when moving abroad. And if you feel embarrassed, I think it's okay. Uh, and I think that your friends will understand. It's just one of those hard things. You know, you know, like one of the worst parts about breaking up with someone in high school is just the fact that you're going to have to explain it to everyone. You know what I mean? You're like Facebook official. And all of a sudden it says you're no longer together. And everyone says, what happened? Oh my God. Are you okay? Blah, blah, blah. And you're just like, fuck that. It's almost worth just staying together to not have to go through that. You know, <laughs> it's like going to Thanksgiving, you know, and your family's like, well, how's it going? You're like, well, I'm starting this, blah, 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 blah. And then you go in the other room and there's another cousin. Hey, how's it going? How's your year? I'm like, here we go. And you do it again. And you know, having to explain, it's like, fuck. So having to explain to everyone who would message me on Facebook or line or, you know, any messaging thing or Skype or my parents or anyone, how's it going? And I say, shitty. Why is it shitty? Well, it's my job. Why is your job shitty? I'd probably explain. And then on the, the, the live streaming, my goodness. So I, again, I love you guys. Thank you guys for popping on the live stream, but we, we do the live streaming on Twitch and we'll occasionally get a new viewer. So we, we luckily we have like commands on there where like, if someone says like, who are you? You can type a command that says like, it's an exclamation point, Eric. And it pops up like a, like a bot. It's like a copy paste thing. And it says like, my name is Eric. I live in Osaka. I teach English, well, teach English in air quotes. Even on there, I put air quotes. Um, just if people have questions, I can say like, like, how old are you? You can take command age, uh, blah, 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 blah. I try to cover those things because I have to repeat myself so much. So when people say, why do you hate your job? The long story short is the hours suck. The pay is not good. The work is not motivating. There's nothing to do. Yesterday, for example, on a Friday, uh, out of an eight hour, eight hours that I'm there, I worked two and a half, maybe, maybe. And you're like, wow, that sounds great. You could just probably just, you know, study Japanese. You could watch Netflix. You could play your Nintendo Switch. You could play some Mario and Zelda. Not necessarily. You're still in a company, a Japanese company. There's still, even though I'm not working, there's other teachers there with other students. You have to still look professional. All I can do is, after a while, just because I knew I was quitting, and the other teachers do this too, so they let it slide. But, like, I put in headphones, and whatever I can get away with on my phone, I can do. If I want to watch Netflix, I can do that. If I want to do Discord or Line or Reddit, 
I am so sick of browsing Reddit. <laughs> you have no idea. All uh, yesterday, I so yeah, I had two hours of a break. I show up to work. I pull out my coffee because they don't provide free coffee. They have a coffee machine. Uh, and the first one went to pour. They said, "Oh, did you pay for that? Pay for what? Oh, the coffee. It's a hundred yen." I, about that point, I almost swan dived out. Swan, swan, swan dove, swan dove. I almost swan dove out the window. I said, "Are you? Excuse me." Yeah, yeah, we, we, you know, with the cups and the coffee, we get, we got to charge 100 yen for the coffee. I, I about walked out of the room. It's unbelievable, right? I know, I know some places are probably different, but Jesus Christ, I was just like, it's just one thing after another. I can't even have coffee. <laughs> Fuck. So I show up yesterday. They don't have water fountains either. You got to bring your own fucking water. I show up, I pull out my coffee big big cup and I, i'm not even like i like coffee but i don't like let's not let's be honest if you drink coffee every day and you're addicted to it it's not a good thing although i love coffee now because i'm a, i am addicted to it but like you know I, I i look forward to the day that i can wean off of it again because uh i'm just like it's the only thing i work so late one it keeps me awake but two it's just like every there's so much shit happening at work and there's like there's no organization and the kids are throwing shit and it's just it's like mayhem and i'm just like at least i can sit here put in one earbud for just a minute and just sip some coffee i put on <laughs> the first month i got into classical music who gets into cla like no offense to anyone who likes classical music but i've never listened to classical. i mean you know it's nice sometimes but like i've never just like listened to it like mm, i appreciate it. it was it was literally like this sounds like a like a sad movie or like like a murderer in the making like imagine me sitting there like like sipping coffee listening to like and I'm just like going insane. <laughs> I felt like I was going insane, but I think the fact that I every day I said like, Eric, you might be going insane. Well, I think that was the only thing keeping me sane was that I was aware of it. Just going, this is not normal. You need to get the fuck out of this. So, oh man, yeah. Oh. So you guys can see, I'm, I'm like, I, I really worry. Like I've had, um, I've had, I, I, I've had bad jobs in the past. I've had jobs that I hated, but you can walk away from them. Uh, I had my first editing job. I worked at it for about a year and a half, two years. And there's some aspects of that job. Uh, my, my two, two of my three bosses were complete assholes and we don't, we don't want to talk about that, but the job itself was such a learning experience. Like basically everything I learned about video editing, I, I gained through that job. I learned so much. i made a lot of money. Uh, it was a huge opportunity. I met someone. So there were so many positives and then yes, there was a lot of negatives and I ended up leaving, but I, I could take, I could throw away the negatives, learn from those and say, okay, red flags to look out for if your boss has like these traits maybe look out for that and i was able to you know throw that away and know like okay I, i'll never do, i'll never do that again but now i have all these pot you know and i was able to take that and you know bring it with me and go to other, i was doing other video work with other companies not like full time but just actually for a while i was working with the uh, portland trailblazers doing video so i was and the person who worked there i met through that job you know what i mean so it's like and we'd both be like oh yeah fuck those old bosses like the blazers bosses are so much better so it was just getting better and better and better and i think that's you know, as I'm becoming like an adult in the real world now, I feel like I've, I've literally been thrown out in the wild here just because I'm like out in Japan on my own here, but um, uh, not completely on my own. I've, again, with the support of parents and people like you and, you know, people who help me get through this, but like, you know, more or less I'm on my own out here. Um, um, I'm losing my train of thought. I apologize. Uh, Oh, I'm, I'm learning as an adult that like life is basically, you know, everyone says, don't be afraid to make mistakes. I, I, I know that's corny, but like, it's, it's basically like, if you make a mistake, you'll learn then hopefully to never do it again. Uh, like, all right, that really like these last five months, Jesus Christ, that fucking sucked. So now I'm going into this new job and you guys are like, well, Eric, like why? Like five bucks says Eric's just going to hate his next new job. Yeah. Let's be honest. A every job there's things you love and things you hate, like probably in any job. And the, the, the goal I guess in life is to you know, learn from each mistake to get yourself in a better spot each time so that you can hopefully get in a spot that you end up doing what you love doing. And I already know, and I'm telling you guys right now, I don't want to live in Japan teaching English forever. That's not my goal. And this job that I'm getting right now, it is a job, but it's not even full time. It pays better, has better vacations, and it's part time. It's part time. But on the flip side, they expect me to work my ass off. They want me to be 100%. They want me to like kill it. And, but because they're like giving so, give, and they have free coffee. <laughs> Where's my sound effects? Where's my sound effects? They have free coffee at the next job, guys. We're back to a new job. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get some chew hype. Oh, this is getting cringy. That was weird. Okay, sorry. Um, That was supposed to be a fist pump. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so, but it's great because it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, I want to work hard for you, 
if you just, if you'll appreciate me as an employee, if you'll, you know, say thank you or be like, you did a really good job, you know, take some time, you know, whatever. Like th this next job just seems like it's a job that I, at least starting out, I really want to give it my all and I really want to work for. Um, and they seem like they're going to do me a lot of good in that it's not full time guys. So there's days where I'll, I'll go in for a half day. I go in for a half day. And again, this current, this previous job had a half day. It had one half day on a Saturday, but this one, there's guaranteed two days off plus a third day that's technically off. But if there's a sick person, then you come in. But if you come in, you get paid. So it's just all these things where it's like, wow, that sounds like a really big breath of fresh air. And like two of the days of the week that I have, again, I want to dive into this more detail later on the new job, but two of the days of the week that I work are half days. The schedule, like the exact hours aren't picked out yet, but it's like for each teacher, it's all the same hours, just kind of flipped around and they get decided in April. So I don't know my exact hours, but it's everyone gets... Uh, two of the same days off and then each individual person gets one day that's off in case they get called in on a sick day like for, if someone's sick uh, and if but if you do you get paid extra like a lot extra so it's like oh i gotta go in but uh, you know extra cash and even then it's probably only a half day anyway so but two of the days are guaranteed half days so you go in either in the afternoon or in the morning and then you have the rest of the day off and the hours never go past 6 30 they never go past 6 30 i'm not staying till 10 o'clock anymore I'm not doing any of that shit. I'm not, I'm not being robbed of my social life. I can maybe even go get a girlfriend. I, a girlfriend? People would ask me like, so Eric, like, you know, you're probably talking to a lot of girls out there. You're meeting some women. Oh, I've been meeting lots of women. Uh, but I don't have time to call them back. I don't have time to, like, uh, the, the, the last thing on my mind is a relationship. Are you kidding me? I, I don't, one, I don't have the mental capacity to, 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 uh, work towards something like that. Uh, but dude, I just, I am not in a, place to be dating so that sucks too <laughs> i'm 25 it's like the problem you know let's fucking go uh so yes uh to recap this whole podcast it's it's getting close to an hour here and i'm probably gonna wrap it up in a minute here but there's so much i want to i didn't even really i know i gave you guys i'm like we're gonna talk about the crap job i've listed some things there is we could probably spend three weeks talking about this first fucking job um horror stories and things like that you know again guys bear with me these first few weeks as we get back here um i'm gonna try to get a podcast out uh, once a week. This is actually pretty good. It's Saturday morning for me right now. Uh, and right now with the job, since I can't really live stream on during the week, uh, we mostly stream on the weekends, but I don't start the streams until the afternoon because we it's usually a little bit more fun to go out at night, get some drinks, some dinner, things like that. But today I'm going to be starting the stream around 2 or 3 p.m. my time, go out, get some lunch, talk about the job a little bit, probably repeat everything I just said to you guys, uh, walk around, do some shopping and then as it gets darker we start leading you know walking more toward like bars and stuff like that and doing things like that um but this might work out maybe for these next couple i have two more weeks and then i have uh two weeks off and then i start training of the new job and even during the training it's not full days so i can probably stream those days as well so again hop on the hop on twitch guys uh, i might go on youtube every once in a while just to say hey we're going live on twitch but uh people ask just before you ask why don't you just stream on youtube um it's just, twitch Although all of my fans, you know, I have some fans on Twitch, but it's very small compared to my YouTube following. Uh, all of you guys are here on YouTube and it kills me that I can't live stream with all of you guys all the time. Uh, the YouTube platform for streaming is, I mean, if you guys are YouTubers, you might like it. I, in my opinion, Twitch is just a much better platform for live streaming. There's so much more to do. There's so much custom customization, so many emotes. Uh, if we get upgraded to partner status, which in the next couple months might happen, it's basically an upgrade in your account. Like if you stream enough, you have a, a good average viewers of like 75 or more, which we now have. Um, but I only stream like once or twice a week. So we haven't earned partner yet because I'm just not at that consistent because of work. But I'm going to have two weeks off. And then when I start training for three weeks, I can still stream on the, you know, after work. And then after that, I have three week paid vacation. And then after that, I'm going to, to, to Tokyo. They're flying me out. I, I, I mean, I use the word fly, but they're going to pay for me to go to Tokyo for a few days for a little conference thing and then come back. Um, so in the next few months, if we get partnered, Twitch is just going to be a much better platform. I know that the, you know, sometimes you can get people that are a little toxic, a little aggressive, but you have the ability to, you know, ban people if they're too bad. But we like to have fun. You know, I let, I, I'm not very strict on the channel. I like to let things fly as long as we're having fun. If someone's trying to be like an asshole or, you know, throwing out the N word, you know, too much, you know, things like that. It's just like, get the fuck out of here. We, we can, we can ban them. And we, we try to keep it. I try to keep it, the chat as clean as we can while we can, cause it's small. But so I just really want to encourage if you guys are on YouTube and you're scared of Twitch, 
Um, I'll, I'll try to pop in on YouTube live just for like a few minutes. Be like, hey guys, we're on Twitch. Please pop over. Um, if that works for you guys, you know, occasionally. But Twitch ultimately for me is just a much better live streaming platform. So again, twitch.tv forward slash Eric underscore broad. And likely if you're listening to this right now, I'm live right now getting up to something and you know it's very different let's talk about that just for a minute and then i'll and then i'll kill the stream or kill i keep saying that kill the stream i've been streaming a lot lately um i'll end the podcast after that but i want to you know i have this list here and we're going to dive into it over the next few weeks and i'm really excited to dive in i may even do one tomorrow and just like post it in a couple days so you guys get something during the week i'm not really sure i don't want to promise that but um these next few weeks i'll be posting a lot and uh um Shit, I lost my train of thought. Again, god damn it, where's the... Something about streaming. Um, Something about streaming, but... uh, Oh, basically that, that doing the live streaming is such a different beast. It's such a different, like, form of reaching out. It's, one, it's amazing because, you know, with YouTube, it's cool. I can post a thing and you guys say, like, hey, Eric, like, love the content. And it's great. And there's some interaction there. I can get in the comments. But on Twitch, you can literally say, like, hey, Eric, how you doing? And I go, oh, hey, dude, doing good. Like that, that's as interactive as it gets. Like, you know what I mean? Besides like meeting in person, like being able to connect with fans is so great. So I just, I, I hope that if you guys are the YouTube fans, um, I really, I really encourage you to please come over and just say hi, just because I will say hi back. You know what I mean? I'm there. The channel's not that big, but we usually on a weekend, we might average around a hundred viewers right now. Let's bump that up. Right <laughs> No, But if we can stream every day, I think it will gradually go up, but I just, I don't want to, I, my goal isn't to have a YouTube following and a Twitch following, you know, I want to kind of have some of both. I know that there will be kind of two now if we're doing both, but like I want to, you know, I really encourage you guys to come over. Everyone is really nice. Um, and I know that my YouTube fans are really nice, but if we get any toxic, you know, things going on in the chat, we can usually manage it pretty well. So I just encourage you to come over and just say hi and give a follow. And, um, the plan, I'll just say right now, if you're listening right now, the plan tonight, uh, is, uh, you know, we usually start the stream without a plan except for like the evening. So it's just like the day we'll go get some lunch somewhere. I don't know where I'll walk it around until I find something that looks good. Uh, we might do some shopping. We kind of wing it. It's 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 very. Oh, I'm I'm getting off track. But my my point was, doing the live streaming. It, the positives is that the interaction is amazing. Uh, one of the negatives is that it's live. So if something happens that you don't necessarily want everyone on the internet to see or know about, it's live and everyone just saw it. So you know, um, I'll say that these first few months, you know, with YouTube, you know, it's as an editor, I'm the master of taking a big six hour pile of nothing and can you know trim the fat and grab all the good parts and make it into a story and you know put out a little polished five minute little piece and i love doing that it's really fun um it's also very time consuming it's also uh uh it's youtube also doesn't you know i don't i've never done youtube for money because it's all been like a passion project of course i like it to grow and if it does if i am able to like start paying some grocery bills with it that would be amazing um but priorities have to take over, you know, when, when, uh, you're, you have to live and, um, I'll just be completely frank with you guys. Uh, I, you know, I don't do either for money, but Twitch has been a really new experience for me and a cool way to just go live without having to stress about time because I don't have to edit anything. It's just live. Um, and Twitch has been a lot more generous, uh, to me and, you know, helping me out financially, um, compared to YouTube. I don't want to bash on YouTube or anything. And people on Patreon who help me out, you're, you guys are like the only money that I make on YouTube. So again, thank you. And, um, I do want to figure out Patreon in a way that if we, you know, hopefully we're back into YouTube enough that it's just like, okay, I do the YouTube and Patreon. And then I also have, uh, you know, Twitch and the discord, not that discord separate, but like, you know, it's all kind of, I want it to all mix somehow. So I'm going to be fleshing it out over the next few weeks. I'm going to be figuring out new mods and stuff like that. Uh, I'll post any info on that. Definitely on the discord. Uh, and then mentioning it here as well for anyone who listens to the podcast, but, um, yeah, so just a lot of new things happening. Um, and I'm, I, I love doing the live streaming, but like I said, over the last like three months, we've, we've only been doing it for like three months. Um, we've learned a lot about to do's and not to do's. Uh, we call them the 10 commandments of the stream. I think we only have like five right now. I'll just, I'll just say some of them right now and then we'll end the stream. But, um, so there's been, you know, if you're going out drinking and you're live, uh, I've never been been on a camera live drinking before so it's kind of weird like my whole life going out drinking you know sometimes you have a few too many and you're with friends you get a little loud the next day like oh i was i probably embarrassed myself but like you know whatever and that's it it's done but when you're like oh man like i got a little i got a little loopy last night what happened and you go back and people are commenting on it there's there's clips of it people are sharing it and posting like look at this part haha why did he say this and you're like oh shit um 
So we've made a few commandments, and uh, a few of them are basically like, you know, if it's if it's getting late, if it's like two in the morning and nothing's really happening and you're just drinking, just end the stream. You know what I mean? Like you had a good day, you were interacting, and now you're just getting drunk. It, nothing good is gonna come out of this. Just maybe just say good night and end the stream. That's one rule. Two is uh, don't go to the ATM. <laughs> we have a rule where we go out when we go out streaming because you know you're streaming all day. You're walking. Like if, if you guys don't know IRL streaming, you basically are outside with a, a phone like a camera and you're live and you can talk to the chat and they can see everything that's happening. People can follow and donate. And if they donate money, like a sound comes out. So like, you know, if they donate and they say, Hey Eric, love the stream. Keep it up. It'll say, Hey Eric, love the stream. Keep it up. It's like a robot, right? So it's kind of fun because you can interact or like, if you're talking to someone, you're like, Oh yeah, I'm live streaming. Check it out. And then someone will follow and I'm like, Oh cool. And then like, you know, it's, it's, it's very fun. It's also very tiring and you're walking around a lot, but because you're walking so much, you usually end up stopping like, oh, let's grab a snack here. Oh, let's grab some drinks here. Oh, wait, people are going, you get a phone call. We're going to the club. Club? Guys, club stream? And everyone's like, club stream content, let's go, woo! And then like, you end up, you know, sometimes you end up, you know, spending money. And the first few streams, there was nights after a few drinks, I'm like, guys, should I end the stream or should I get go to the ATM and keep it going? And some people are like, dude, keep going, keep going. I'm like, let's go. And you know, I go to, this, I go to the ATM and pull out $100 and you know, uh, Basically, rule number two, we go out with $100 in our pocket and that's it. Unless I'm specifically shopping for clothes, but even then, like, usually, you know, I can use a credit card and then pay it off later, you know, whatever. Um, I usually don't walk around with more than $100 cash going out for the stream because once that runs out, it's like, well, end of the stream, I'm heading home now, good night. And in the morning, I'm, I'm always thankful. Like, fuck, thank God you went home. <laughs> um, if you're spending more than $100 on a stream a day, like, you don't need to, you know what I mean? The content is more just interaction with people. So, uh, anyways. So we try to, we try to, a uh, few other rules. What was it? Try not to buy drinks for people. Uh, as again, that's just another money thing. Like, you know, I'll be like, Hey, I'll, I'll get your drinks. You, we drinking? Like people are just like, Eric, just stop buying drinks, buy your own drinks and let them do their thing. And it's also different in Japan. Like there's kind of a, a chivalry thing in America, in the Western culture. You know, you, if you're talking to a girl, you buy her a drink. If you're with a friend, like, Hey, let me buy your drink. In Japan, it's kind of not as much so that I've kind of noticed. It's more, it's kind of just drink at your own pace. And as much as I want to be like, hey, I want you to drink, so I'm going to buy you one, it gets so expensive so quick. So um, we've just made that a rule. It's like, hey, you know, if I was in America, I'd probably look like an asshole not buying everyone drinks, but I'm in Japan and it's kind of accepted here. So I'm going to take advantage of that moment and not sp spend all my money, you know, because I, my first month, month, month studying abroad and living here, um, I found my, like, you know, I was like, oh, I spent a lot of money last night, but it was fun, you know, maybe they'll get me next time. They never got me back <laughs> ever. No one ever gets me back. It's always me. I'm the only only one buying drinks. So I realized there was a problem and we stopped it. So um, what are the other commandments? I already, honestly, I forgot. But mostly just like, don't get too drunk uh, uh, <laughs> because you're live. You have to be careful. And I know it's, it's, it's weird too, because on YouTube, you know, you guys see me like, Hey, Eric abroad here. And I know, I, you know, I swear. And I talk about how in America I smoke pot, you know, things like that. But like, like I'm okay with talking about that, but I'm kind of, this just like little giddy little like happy boy. And then you see me and I'm like, all right, we're going to the club. And like, it's just, it's so, it's a whole nother side of me. So it's been, it's been very interesting. Um, kind of figuring out, okay, like what are some cues I can keep in the back of my head when I'm streaming? Like, Oh, Eric, it's one of those moments. Maybe don't do that. Or maybe, you know, whatever. Um, Oh, also, man, unintentionally, like I, I'm not a guy who provokes, if, if you guys know me, when I go drinking, I'm the fun guy. Like I'm the guy with the lampshade on his head dancing around, but I don't pick fights. If anyone picks fights, it's because they don't like that guy. Maybe he's a little too, like having too much fun, but more, usually I don't think I've ever really had a drunk fight ever in my life. Uh, but we've had some live stream uh, encounters so far. Uh, I, they're probably, there's, I think one of them got shared. Basically there was a guy that I was talking to and he was a little bit more uh, inebriated than I thought, a foreigner guy. And I thought he'd be cool and we were talking and he seemed chill at first, but then he, it seemed, became very clear that he wasn't happy that he was on camera, but he was also kind of an older gentleman and he didn't understand that like, he was like, delete the video. And I'm like, okay, well, I mean, I'm not recording you now and it's, there's no way to delete it. Cause it's, it's not like a recording video. It's live. And he's like, delete it. And I'm like, I, and it became like a, like a, like a fight. I mean, nothing happened physically, luckily because he had friends there to hold him back. But like on stream, we almost got like punched in the, he slapped our camera. There's, there's a clip. I'm like standing there and he stops from camera. I'm like, what do you want me to do? You know, I, I look like a, you know, like, like beta. I'm just like, what do I do? I don't know what the fuck, you know, but I'm not a fighter. I don't pretend to be, you know, I'm not a guy who goes out and tries to pick, especially in Japan. Everyone's really nice. Most people don't get angry or fight in Japan, at least in my experience. Friends I hang out with don't. So anyways, 
it's been a very it's been a learning experience in life with like this shitty job and moving and getting a new job and i'm now on the up and up i believe you know i'm really happy for that these next couple months will be tight on money financially just because you know leaving one job and starting a new one there's like a break period between paychecks um luckily you know doing the live streaming and some youtube i get a little bit of money and i have some savings that i can dive into but um i apologize if it's like oh you have two weeks off let's go to let's go to tokyo let's go to you know Hokkaido and it's like I can't afford it you know what I mean I so I I might just be content like hey we're out again here in Osaka you know but it's it's I have a good time so if you guys enjoy it please tune in but um again tune in tonight because I should be live right now actually it's almost 2 p.m my time I'm gonna export this video try to upload it and get live uh at a reasonable time so that it's not too late here so thank you guys again so much for listening if I had the other sound bite there's a twitch sound bite when people donate money and it says fucking thank you it's like fucking thank you from my from my video uh where i interviewed college students if you guys haven't seen that you can check it out uh i think it's the most views video we have on this channel but i guys know that i have not forgotten about you at all it's all honestly it's all i think about like okay when can i do youtube and i and i apologize for always promising a video i'd go live on the inter, you know on twitter and be like okay i think i'm gonna do a podcast this week because i'm feeling it and then something comes up and i like fuck never mind i'm not gonna do it this week i really wanted to come back and start explaining it to you guys after my head's a little bit more clear after we're on the up and up and i can give you guys some hope like it's been really shitty let's laugh about it let's uh, reflect on it and realize what we did wrong what we did right and like things like that but i i also want to give you guys like some hope not just like yeah and I'm, I'm you know it sucks and I'm, I'm looking but i don't know if i'm gonna find anything guys see you next week yeah i don't want to do that personally i don't want to do that and it's not going to help me and it's always going to be floating there i don't want it but let's talk about it uh, in great detail over the next few months. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you're new to this and you're considering moving to Japan or something like that, uh, I'm not very hard to reach, so you can message me on like Instagram DMs. I'm not a huge Twitter guy, so I apologize. Some people message me on Twitter, and I don't get back to them for like weeks. Uh, maybe I should get better at that. I'm not really sure, but I just Twitter was never a thing for me. But um, Instagram, uh, if you're not on the Discord yet, hop in there. It's in the description below. Uh, you can send me a DM on there. I almost always reply. Um, I'm not that big of a deal that I don't reply to things, so... Um, and I have a lot of free time at work for the next couple weeks. So <laughs> the last two weeks at work are going to be pretty, pretty much me sitting on discord. So, uh, come say hi and, um, yeah, again, hop on the live stream and I, I hope, you know, over the next few weeks we start to figure out, you know, where we're going with mixing the channel and the live streaming and all that stuff, Patreon, discord and all that jazz. Um, so I appreciate, it. I hope this was, uh, informational, enjoyable, I guess for you guys. And it's good to see you guys again. Um, and is that everything? Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll see you guys either in a few days or next week, you know, whenever I get another podcast. I, I'm, I'm kind of tired of promising things like, all right, I'll see you guys next week, and then I can't do it next week. Uh, hopefully next week I'll have another podcast up. My, I want to get back into it weekly here. So uh, I got the SoundCloud account going again. Uh, I deactivated the, the uh, pro mode on that because I was paying like $15 a month on it for podcasts I wasn't uploading but I just, I got it back up now. So I'm going to be uh, posting on there. So if you don't, if you can't watch the video or you just want to listen to it in your car, you can do that. Uh, it's also on Google play music, I think is what it's called. Um, so you can get it on there as well. Uh, and iTunes, I think. And uh, I think that's everything guys. There's so much, it's not everything. Cause I want to talk about a lot, but as far as today, just giving you guys a heads up and saying hi, um, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, I will hopefully see you guys next week. Um, I'm going to get ready for the live stream now and go out and get some drinks to kind of celebrate uh, quitting a shit job and getting into a better one. So uh, I hope it doesn't get a little out of hand because <laughs> I don't want it to, but um, I'm really excited to get some drinks and just kind of celebrate and just like have fun. Oh, the plan. I didn't even say the plan tonight. The plan tonight. I'll, uh, that's, I think that's another fun thing if I'm doing like these podcasts. I know a lot of you guys might listen to it later and be like, fuck, I missed out on that. But if you're listening to it like right now, and you're like, oh, that does sound interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe say it at the beginning of the podcast. Like, by the way, I'm going live. So pause this and watch me and then come back, you know, whatever. Um, the plan is kind of no plan. And then uh, get drink. There's a new, <laughs> this sounds so dumb. Actually, now that I'm saying it out loud, there's a new Ferris wheel that just opened up in Osaka. That's been shut down for 10 years. It's right in the middle of downtown Osaka. It's built into a store. It's like this huge, it's a 50. We're going to go up there and try to like maybe have a beer and like celebrate and just like, you know, whatever. But after that, we're going to a casino bar. If you want to see what that's like, you can, uh, I posted it on my Instagram story. You might've seen it on there, but uh, tune into the stream and check it out. It's literally, it's a bar where you, you, you pay money and you get chips, uh, a certain amount of chips. The chips don't give you money though. They just pay for drinks. So say for example, I'm playing blackjack. They have blackjack, poker, roulette. It's a really small bar, but they're cool and it's not real money. So you can, you can use your phone. You can talk. It's totally like relaxed. Um, 
but they're they're pretty professional. They're like they, you know they shuffle the cards, they do the thing, they have like their, their they ring a bell when you're you know all, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I was playing blackjack. I ordered like three drinks, and I won enough by the end to pay for those drinks, and then still have the same amount of money I bought in with, and they keep the money, and I can use it tonight again. So tonight I'm gonna be going there with my friend Daniel. Uh, who, if you haven't been keeping up with the stream, it's kind of a long story, but a friend from Sweden. And uh, we're going to go check it out. They said, we asked them last time, like, hey, I'm a YouTuber. I'm, I am I like to do live streams. Can I stream here? And they said, absolutely. So we're going to go test and see if the internet that I use, my pocket Wi-Fi works there. So if you guys want to turn into that content, uh, it might be boring. I'm going to, I don't know. I don't know how like po like actual blackjack streams work. Um, uh, you know, here's just a little like uh, preemptive like sound effect for when it doesn't work. Just... Oh, Eric. Oh, Eric, the stream sucks. <laughs> it might not be good. I don't know. But uh, it, it's it's a bar that I just was introduced to by my good friend uh, Yusuke, who's also a recurring member on the stream. And um, he just found this bar recently. And we went there last week. And I'm like, dude, this is my new regular bar. This place is the shit. It's fucking fun. So uh, please turn into that. This is the longest outro ever. I'm not good with outros. As you guys know, I keep rambling and rambling and rambling. Whoa. I'm getting some sounds in my ear here. Sorry if you guys are hearing that too. Um... Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys. It's good to see you guys again. Um, Eric's not dead. He's back. The, my iPad just died, so there goes all my sound effects. Wah, wah, wah. Um, I hope to get podcasts out. I hope to get new videos out that I've been meaning to edit out. Um, but I also help to do uh, stuff that I want to do, which right now I want to focus on uh, getting the Twitch channel up and running and then get back slowly into YouTube and kind of ha hopefully find a healthy mix of the two get back into exercise and get back into Japanese studies. And I think this new job with a part-time schedule is going to really help us do that. So schedules coming up on, you know, things that are going to happen with that, but I'm really excited. Thank you guys for tuning in. Luckily my channel is small enough that, uh, you know, I still feel bad leaving you guys hanging, but at least I'm not leaving, you know, some people that are like YouTubers, they're like, Oh, they go, they go AWOL for two weeks and millions of people are like, you know, where are you? Luckily we're still, I think we're at a good point where I can take a little break, fix my life a little bit for you guys. And that well, for myself, but for you guys as well, and then we can dive back into it. I'm fucking excited. I'm super stoked. Cheers to you guys. Here's some tea. Hoping that my voice does not go out tonight as it uh, tends to do. I hope you all have are having a great 2018 so far. I for sure am. There's been nothing but good things that have happened since 2018 has started. Um, and I'm hoping the rest of the year. We I've been planning out some stuff, some trips that we're going to be hopefully doing later this year. Um, and hopefully live streaming almost all of them. And also doing some YouTube videos and stuff. But thank you guys so much. And I'm fucking excited. Happy 2018. Happy New Year. And I'll see you guys soon with another video from Eric Abroad. No sound effects. Sorry. Uh, love you guys. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Ja. Mata.